Steve Jambeck, um, long-time Rockaway resident. We live in uh, we, li we live on Beach 148th Street in Rockaway. We've been in the same house for 34 years, and we've been through a lot of storms. We we're quite aware that the um, generally the climate is changing, and as a result of global warming and and the result of 50 years of flawed governmental policies, uh, we could have changed all this within the Eisenhower administration, but they decided to support nuclear and coal and oil and, and have ever since and there's it, it, if they leveled the playing field by reducing the subsidies for all those large corporations it would be a different ball game because solar and wind is, is is totally affordable it's just not supported by the policies of our government and I think the people want change they, and this is a wake-up call and a reality check for people to, to to seize the moment and tell our leaders either change it or, or we'll change you because we can vote them out and we can vote people in that will change the policies that need to support. How were you affected by the storm? Well, we took on three feet of water in our house. Our um, we lost a lot of stuff which can be replaced. The good stuff that we needed, like our photos and hard drives and things are we saved on the second floor, but we are, the, the house is stripped down to the studs, the sheetrock's gone, the, sub, the floors are out. Where did you live during that, during the... We stayed there overnight that night and, and then went to my uh, sister-in-law's apartment in Brooklyn for the next 12 days. And were all your neighbors wiped out too? Of course, everyone. Well, not I shouldn't say everyone, almost everyone. The few of the older houses it, um, were built high enough so that they, their basements flooded, but their, their first floors were okay. Right. And um, how did you see this? Uh, had you been involved with Occupy or? Well, not so much prior to that, but uh, you know, we had we had Occupy volunteers helping us almost immediately. And before FEMA, right? Be well, yes, before FEMA, and I think that we were uh, luckier than a lot of people because we did have that help, and we were able to leave Rockaway, whereas a lot of people have nowhere to go, and they were living with no electricity and no source of food, some people without water, and Occupy really needed to deal with those people, and did very well. Greenpeace came and supported Occupy with a uh, very large solar array on a truck called Rolling Sunlight, I believe, and they were powering um, their medical uh, clinic that, that Occupy set up a medical clinic, and uh, Greenpeace was powering that as well as giving people a place to charge their phones and devices, and they were uh, cooking hot food for people. So immediately, the response by the people was astounding to me, and it was very uplifting to know that the community came together to help each other, right. not relying on the government, which w was not anywhere to be seen. There was like, right. we, we produce an environmental TV show. That's Who's on, we? Who's we? Well, my wife and I and our partner, uh, along with Joan Flynn and, and our host, Carl Grossman, we have a right. we have a production company called Enviro Video, Okay. and we produce a show called Enviro Close-Up with Carl Grossman that's on Free Speech TV. Right. And people can take steps.